Hey everyone, I had a question about how I mix my blues, especially when I'm painting blue hydrangeas. So I thought I'd do a little video to show you. I will be using four colors and I paint with oil paint, but this could work with acrylic also. My four colors are titanium white, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, and alizarin crimson. So I will show you how I create the blues. So here I have my four colors. I have my alizarin crimson, my ultramarine blue, my cobalt blue, and my titanium white. So when I wanna mix blues, I'm gonna start with ultramarine. I put down some ultramarine, and then I add in a bit of titanium white because that will allow you to really see the color. Ultramarine is considered a cool blue. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade of blue. So there's that. And then I wanna create several tints. And to create a tint, you take your original color and you add more white to it, which of course will make it paler. So I have my starting blue. Then I have a lighter blue tint. And then I'll do one more. Again, I take more white. So there's a very pale blue. Um, let's see, let's see if I can get that light out of the way. All right, so you can see I go from dark to medium to light. If I wanna create the purple blues that you see in the video, I'm gonna take, after I mix up my first set of blues, I'm gonna take some of each one and create a second pile with a little bit of alizarin crimson mixed in. And of course, if I was painting a picture, these would be much, much larger piles of paint. This is just for purpose of showing you. So when you add the alizarin into that blue, it deepens it and purples it. So what I would do is make my second set, which would give me, um, they would be in the same family because they're from ultramarine, but they would be somewhat different and more purple. Now that's a little too purple for me, so I'm going to add some of the some of the original ultramarine back in to get it closer to blue and less purpley. Tiny bit more white. And color mixing, if you are just learning color mixing, it's a lot like cooking. You can have a recipe, but you have to practice and find out what you really like. So I can tell you what color I use for each of these, but if you go ahead and start mixing and practicing, you will soon learn what, what you find appealing. All right, so there we have my original ultramarine, three different shades of it, and my deeper purpley uh, blues from alizarin. Cobalt blue, you can do the same thing. Cobalt blue is considered a warm blue. So I'm gonna put that down here, add my white, this and it makes an equally beautiful blue but it's hard to see in the video but it is warmer uh, more slightly on the yellow side and ultramarine is more toward the uh, red side of the color wheel so there's my cobalt take a little bit of it add more white to make my tint my middle blue and then again like with the first set add some more white to make my palest lightest blue like that let me shift the camera so now what I'll do with each of these same thing to make my purpley blues I'll take it and add a little bit and with alizarin you have to remember a little goes a long way so um, you have to add just the tiniest bit. Okay, so there's that. Take a little of this. And again, just a tiny bit of alizarin. Teeny tiny. And again, do it to taste. You know, maybe you wanna do more pinky purples, pinky blues. So you are the artist, you can choose what you wanna do. 
And there's my pale, just a bit. There we go. So, as you can see, I have four sets of blues, fairly harmonious because they are uh, not that different on the color wheel, but I would consider these cool blues and purple blues. I would consider these warm blues and purple blues. So I hope that's helpful. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them below on the video. If you'd like to be notified when I have new videos, uh, you can subscribe. And thank you for watching.